Um, you sent those questions because they are confusing questions and also they are not really detrimental to this section. I'll pull them up right now. Um, and of course they're the same questions because if they were different questions, that'd be different. But since they're the same question, that tells me again that they're not worth anything. So 5.1, number 69, 19. 5.1, number 69, 19. I think two of the four that you sent is this question. And it's about Fermat. Now, Fermat is famous for the Fermat's theorem, okay, which was proven about six or eight years ago by a Cambridge professor, okay? And the Fermat's theorem, not this one, but Fermat's theorem says that the square of any two is the only is the only solution to a right triangle. And Fermat's proof or Fermat's theorem proves that it can't be done except the square. And that's what the Fermat's theorem is. But anyway, to make a long story short, the first Fermat number, and this is based on his 2 to the 2n plus 1. So the only thing I would tell you to write down on this one is 2 to the 2n plus 1. That's Fermat's uh, basically prime or composite formula. And if you plug in the first one, the first digit of Fermat's theorem is 5. So if you plugged in 5, that would be 2 to the 2 times 5 plus 1. And, and, and that's what they're saying. So the first one is 5, the second one is 17, and the third one is 257. Okay? And that's all I'm going to tell you because that's all you need to know. Okay. 517 and 237. 517 and 257. I'm sorry if I said 237. I missed mis mis wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and put the answer, and that's the answer. It's only one question. There's no, there's no different answer. Five, and of course that's prime. And seven is the next one, and it's prime. And then the next one, I'm sorry, I put 7 every time, 17. Mm -hmm. 7 is the next prime number after 5, sorry. And 257. And then it gets so big that you don't even want to try to calculate it. And, that, and no matter who you are, when you pull this question up, that's the answer, no matter what. So if anybody ever asked you Fermat's first three prime numbers, you know, you don't know it's 5, 17, and 257. Is this a test question? No. There is no way I would put this on a test because this is not what we are studying. Yes, we are studying prime numbers, but we're not studying Fermat's prime numbers. So I disagree with that question, but that's the answer so you can get 100 on your homework, 5, 17, and 257. Capiche? Yes, sir. Like I said, y'all sending that question kind of reiterates that it's a not a good question, or I wouldn't be getting it. So I'm going to delete that one. And I think I got another one up here. I think it's either that one or that one. One of the two. Yep. Second one. Second one. That's the one I had. Is that okay? So you okay with it now? Yes. Well, I'm going to delete those. That one this one is. This one is 5.1, number 57 in the book, number 16 online. This one, I'll it out. Well, basically what you have to do here, and it's real simple, and I'm going to go to a whiteboard. Find the prime factorization of 120. That's what you need to do. Find the prime factorization of 120. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to say 120. And I'm going to put 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and sometimes 13. Pick a number that will go into 120. You can pick 2. You can pick 3. You can even pick 5. Okay? 
I don't care what you pick. You can pick either one you want. So I'm going to pick two because it's easier math. Two will be 60. And two will go into 60. And two will go into 30. Then we have to stop and change because two won't go into 15. Three or five, whichever one you want to pick. And then one. Five, and then you got your prime number. So, this is the makeup of the prime makeup of two times two times two times three times five. And that is 120. So, here you can do two rows of, well, what's, and I'm just going to do it this way, two times, what's two times two? What's 4 times 3? What's 12 times 5? You can do 2 rows of 60. Or you can do 2 rows of, or 4 rows of, take 4 out, you got what? 6 times 5, which is 4 rows of what? 30. 30. Okay, you can do 3 rows of 6 times 5 is what? Times five, three rows of thirty. That should be one twenty. Should be one twenty. What is? Eight times five, not three. Oh, you, you did. You did. Yeah. <laughs> three times forty. I'm sorry. We we're having a problem here. Okay. I was like, where did you get? Where did you get thirty? Uh, ninety from. I thought it was Okay. Anyway, three times forty. Uh, and then you can mix up. You could do two times two is four. You could do eight. Two times two times two is eight. 8 times what? 15. And that's how you get your, 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 your numbers of 2. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. All I care about this problem is that you can do this. Okay? And that's how they get the 2s. Really don't like this question. Because, see, now you got there, see, the 8 rows of 15, turn back, let me go back, didn't I get 8 rows of 15? There it is, right there, see? So I've got 4 right there, let's see if we can find those 4, and then you can just keep going, because there's several others that you got, but let's see what we got. There's, where did I say 8 rows of 15? There's 8 rows of 15, what else did I say? Uh, 20 of 60. What'd you say? 20 of 60. 20 of 60, two rows of 60, yep. and then therefore, what's 60 rows of two, right? And this will be 15 times eight. All right, what else did I put? Four. Yep. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, 40. Four rows 50. of 30. Well, that's 30 40 times four, three. Right? Uh, 40, 40, three rows of 40. Yeah, and there's another one, 30 rows of four. Yeah. 30 rows of 4, I'm looking for it. Yeah. I'm it's looking, on the first section, it's like in. And 4 rows of 30, what else? You, you can do, uh, what is that, S? 1 row of 120? Now remember, it's got to have at least 2. Uh, okay, have at least 2. I lied. Yeah, you're a failure. <laughs> what else? You can do F. F. I'm looking for F. Where's F? There it is. 20, yeah, we didn't do the opposite of 2 times 60, did we? Yeah, we did. Uh -huh. 2 rows by 60 and 60 by 2. And F and P. Yeah, 20 by 6. I guess we could do that, yeah. I didn't even... Okay, and then there should be a 6 by 20. Where's 6 by 20? Right here. All right, what else? No G. You do 12 and 10, yeah. What else? So 10 and 12. You do 10 and 12. All right, what else? 4 times 30. 30 times 4, or 3 times, or 30 times 4. Where's, or you'll see it 30 times 4. We did that one. What else? D. D. 54 by 2. P. E. I'm sorry, is it? What do you say? E. I love P. P. P is in Papa. Oh, we did that one. 
We did P. <laughs> I'm not saying it right. Uh -huh. T. T is in Tango. T. Five Taco. rows of twenty-four. <laughs> Let's go by. Let's go back and look. Five rows of twenty-four. Oh no. Five. <laughs> and what is three times eight? You're right. So you're good. I, I didn't do that one. Thank you. So that would be tango. What else besides tango? I need twenty-four by five. That'd be Lima. L. Lima. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> Mm. Let's hit check, see if we're right. That's it. It's a miracle. So I left one off right here. I left one off, and that is five times what? Five times 24. So I left that one off. So two times whatever, four times whatever, three times whatever. 8 times this and 5 times this. So I think I've done all of them. Yeah, I did 2, 4, 8, 3, and 5. I think I got everything. Now, the only good thing about this question is this right here. That's what, I, that's what I'll ask you on test, this. I'm not going to ask you to pick so I think I got another question like this also. I'm not sure, but let's look at it. Let's look at the ones that were sent to me. Got that one done, so we'll get out of that. Mr. King, don't let me forget your, I got to print out your sheet and send it back to you. Don't let me forget. Please. Yeah, I don't want you to get kicked out of school. And that's 5.1 number three slash one. Ms. McClure. Yes. How come when, when when you was doing your primes, how come you did that last step when you did five times one? Okay, hold on. Whereabouts? In the box. Because your, right your goal is to get a one right there. Yeah, but you don't That's use your goal. Five will go into five how many times? Points. One time. Yeah, but you, you don't use that. You use the... Three twos, a three, and the five. Are we saying why do we have to put the one? Okay. You can stop right no. here if you want to, no. but if, when we get to lowest common multiple, Actually, your goal is to get a one. Okay. So that's why I tell students to take it down to one. So when we get to the least common multiple and the greatest common factor, you won't stop at the five. You'll go to the one. So that's why I do that. You could stop right here if you wanted to. Is that what you're asking? Yes. Yes, that's why. I did. I do that extra step. So when we get to the least common multiple and the greatest common factor, you won't. You won't. You'll keep going. It's just habit for me. But that's a good question. I didn't even think about that. That's reason. All right. All right. Okay, this one says uh, uh, 5.13 slash 1. So this is not a test question because it's one of those that you think too much. If you think too much, you're going to get confused. Okay? That was me. Okay. All right. Fill in the blank. If A is divisible by B, all right, what does that mean? If A is divisible by B. Now, when something is divisible... That means that it will go into it, right? So let's right. just say A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 2. Or let's say that A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 4. Or let's say that A is equal to five, 10 and B is equal to 2. Or let's, you know, whatever the case may be. But 2 is divisible, 4 is divisible by 2. But it's not 100% divisible because you have to go through how many steps? You got to go 2 into 4 two times. Or, yeah, 2 will go into 4 two times, and it's 2 times 2. So 4 divided is 2. That's divisible. Okay? You get a number. All right? But 
What they're wanting you to say is, what's, what's after that? Well, what do you get right here? You zero. get a zero. All right. Do you get another number? All right. Nope. Right here. Four will go into four how many times? One. Four will go into four how many times? One time. One. You sub one times four, you subtract. What do you get? Zero. 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 All right. Two will go into ten. Now, even though ten is divisible by two, watch how what happens. Two will go into ten five times. Five times two is what? Ten. 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 What happens? Zero. Zero. Even though you've got a ten and a two, it doesn't look like it's divisible. You're going to end up with each of these problems with what remainder? Zero. 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 Same thing with three and six. Three will go into six. How many times? Two times. Two times, two times three is six. You get a what? Zero. So the rule they're sta stating is if something is divisible, you're not going to have a what? A number. So this is a question that if I did put on a test, which I wouldn't because people would stare at it for 15 minutes, mm -hmm. okay? The reason I don't put it on a test is because it's so easy that what? Students it make it make what? Hard. Complicated. Hard. All right. So don't feel pregnant on this one, all right? Because <laughs> it just means zero right there. Are you oh. serious? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, and somebody's going to get offended because I said don't be, don't feel pregnant. That was pretty funny. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people get offended. I'm offended. Oh, there you go. I'm Hubert. <laughs> Whoever offended, who's offended? I was just joking. Just yeah, you look, you look like you're offended on. back there in the back of the room. Can't even see you. I'm not Ooh. offended. Look, I'm I got to tell you right. something. What? Ooh. I gotta tell you something that makes no sense. So last okay. night, my Skype class, my other one, got canceled because my teacher was sick. Why can't she just Skype in? She could, but she don't know how. I'm not. Like, that made no actually, sense. I can, uh, actually, I have a Word document at home, and when I and I'm gonna do that with this class. I've got to go to a. I've got to go to two conferences. One's in Florida, and the other one's in Atlanta. And I'm going to go to them, but I'm still going to have class because I'm going to take my handy-dandy uh, document cam and we're going to Skype just like we're doing right now. Exactly. That's why right. I was like, I, I think she was just lazy to feel like teaching. Yeah, that's probably what it was. No, or she was passed out and drunk. One of the two. <laughs> Substance abuse is, you know, pretty bad right now. You know that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's our questions. Now, let's get back into the good stuff. Now, that's the good stuff where I show you the questions I'll give you on a test. How about that? All right, here we go. The questions I'm going to give you on a test look just like this. I'm going to give you a number, and you're going to find the prime factorization of that number. That's it. But we also got to do at least common multiple and trace common factor. We got to do that, too. That's 5.1. So... Let's do a few of the numbers that I'm going to give you. Let's do 144. Do that. Then we'll do 250. And then we'll do 525. Those are three numbers I just pulled out of the air. Now, of course, i got to put my numbers to choose from because somebody might say 12. And we don't use 12. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and sometimes 13. Why do you keep saying sometimes? Well, I can say sometimes 13, sometimes 15. No, 15 is composite. 17, but I just say because usually the reason I say sometimes 13 is you're going to have very few numbers that 2, 3, and 5 doesn't go into. Oh, very few. 2, 4, 3 to the second. Okay. Two, so do you three, always want five, to choose the biggest seven, number? Eleven. Okay, somebody's got a question? What's the question? Okay, so you like your preference. Would you like us to choose like okay, first we're gonna go into two for that one forty four, just a saying, or like if one another one was the same, do you care if it's like the biggest That's when number you first use the divisibility rules. rules. That's up to you. You're still gonna get the same answer. So you I don't can care. Divide, 
250 by five, or I could divide it by two. It doesn't matter. You're going to come out with the same answer no matter what. Okay. Because when and I was in high my teacher only wanted us to be the smallest one. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Ms. Okay. King, did you have a question? No, sir. Oh, okay. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, and sometimes thirteen. All right, so I'm going to divide the first one by two. Well, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to do all of them. I want you to do all of them. This this will decide if you're a loser or not. If you can do, if you can get one or two of them done, then you're good. If you can get all three of them done, then you're a winner. And you don't belong in the ditch. I want to be a winner. Yeah, there you go. I want to be a winner. There you go. So you don't have to live in a van down by the river. That sounds pretty good, though. That sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. A van down by the river? Yes. Living out I'll in tell nature. you what. Your priorities are really low. That's a good thing, you know? <laughs> We're not entitled. That's, huh? good that's, that's right. We're not entitled. Yeah, that's true. I want a trophy. <laughs> but I do. Everything is free, and everybody gets a trophy. That's our generation. Huh. What it's come to. When this generation talks about wanting to start a revolution, hell, they can't even start a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Got that one chick. She's up there at the House of Representatives looking for the looking for Mitch McConnell, and she ain't even in the right building. Two. Nope. My granddaddy always told me to keep your mouth shut. You won't show your ignorance. That girl, she needs to keep her mouth shut for about a year. <laughs> Y'all got it. Huh? Y'all got it. Okay. Will you take off on the test? I'm off the clock right now. I can't answer any okay. questions. Well, when you come back. All right. What, what's your question? <laughs> I did the okay, first two of my head. Will you take off? Will you, you do take after you got to 50? You don't have the number. Second one. Three. No, that doesn't matter. Order don't matter because multiplication is two times it. three. I want it. Uh, it's three times two. Two, one twenty-five, five twenty-five. But I don't know, like on the homework, they be, they say put it in a sentence. Do it like this. Mm. No, well, I'll, well, you start from left to right. What comes first, two or three? Like that. that's, that's the only thing I want you to do. Okay. It doesn't really matter to two, me. Uh, two but 50, 50 times. On the homework and the test, they might have two, cow yes. if you don't put it in two fifty by two. That's not fifty. Okay, y'all done all three, or y'all still working on them? Still working. Okay. You got to remember easily, they kind of lag behind. You know, got to watch it. I'm ready got to go. Got a jarhead up there in easily, so that kind of brings down the average. Oh. Jarhead. <laughs> you know what a jarhead is? No. Oh, God. Hey, bless her heart, she doesn't know what a jarhead is. Oh, that's it. It's an extremely I'll, sexy person. That's leave. what it is. <laughs> what is it? An ignorant person? That is what you, you have are. have to Google. I tell you what, who asked what a jarhead is? The one in the back. It, sa it stands for USMC, which is Uncle Sam's. Misguided children. Misguided. I better say misguided children because Eleanor yeah. Roosevelt called us something else. <laughs> we, won't, we won't mention what Eleanor Roosevelt called us. Oh. Happens to the best of us. Uh-huh. Yeah. 125. Right. So, I'm going to divide by two. Five. One of the reasons I divide by two is because it's easy math. I'm just going to watch it. So two will go into 144 how many times? 72. Two. Two will go into 72, 36 times. I divided it by three, but whatever. That's fine. Two will go into 36, 18 times. Two will go into four, 18, three, nine times. Three, three will go into nine, three times. Three will go into three, <laughs> one time. Lord, I and jacked I that all up. you, y'all's answer is two to the fourth times three to the second. No matter how you do it, you're going to get the same answer. Because what's two times three? You don't need that. What's two three times, times two? Three, six. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what's two times three? Six, six. What's three times two? Six. six. So does it matter what order you put them in? Oh. 
So it doesn't matter whether you have 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. It doesn't matter if you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 2. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same one. Same answer. Same answer. I'm going to have to start making, what do you call it, mandates in my room to where People in the back row have to move up to the front. Oh, Lord. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. Because I can't see. Miss Oconee, I can't see you either. She's sitting in the back. I really want to see what I look like. As they say around Pickens, they scurred. They scurred. They scurred. They scurred. Where's the camera at? Right, right here. <laughs> Behind right the here yonder. There you go. Hey. You can come up there and sit down. There you go. Where's the camera at? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Behind the hat. And look, up like in a coney, the girl on the, the girl on the right hand side of the room, we don't even see her. Oh, we just see a piece of paper. Huh? I see a piece. There she is. We see a piece <laughs> of paper. No, on the right. Oh. Actually, if I do this little thing right here, I can see all of them, but I try to make the screen bigger because the people that sit on the back row, I can't see them, so I try to make the screen bigger. So there you go. Now you can see them. All right, so I'm going to divide 2 into 250, 125. Now I can't divide 2 into 125, so I divide by 5. 5 will go into 12, 2 times, I leave 25, 5. Five, five, one. No. So two times five to the third. Well, crap. I'm going to tell you a little secret. You know why people can't do calculus? Well, Because they can't do algebra. <laughs> you know why students can't do algebra? Because they never learned how to do fractions. You know why people never learned how to do fractions? Because they never learned how to do this. Hey, Wait until we get question. to 5.3 and y'all going to go, oh my gosh, this is easy. It is when you're taught how to do it. Okay, so here we go. What am I going to divide by? Five. Five, good. Five is going to five one time. Five is going to two zero times. Five is going to five one time. Or five times, oh, sorry. Oh, five. Okay. <laughs> Five will go into ten, two times. Five will go into five, one time. Oh God, switch gears. Three, seven, 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 one. It's a miracle. Three times five to the second times seven. Now, Miss Latimer brought up a good question. She said, what if I wrote seven times three times five to the second or three times seven times five to the second? I don't have a cow, but my lab plus homework may have a cow and mark it wrong. Okay, so my suggestion to you is make sure you put it in ascending order. Okay, make sure you put it in ascending order. Meaning, which way do we read? Right. Unless you're from the Middle East, my salama. If you don't, if you don't come from the Middle East, then most of us read left to right, which means the three will come first, the five will come second, and the seven will come last. Capish? Capish. Capish. Actually, I'm not Italian. A lot of people think I'm Italian, but I'm not. not Italian? I'm not. Uh, I'm not Apache. I'm not Navajo. I'm not. You would never guess where I'm from, my ancestors. Let me guess. L.A. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm talking about ancestors. I'm not talking about my mom and daddy. I'm talking about my ancestors. You're, are you from? Are you from Mexico? No. Nope. <laughs> no, I, I came in illegally. <laughs> Where's my money? I want all my free money. Me too. <laughs> Chill. Too soon. <laughs> where am I from? Uh, are you from Montana? Oh my lord, I'm talking about ancestry. You from Germany? 
Uh, is that a Scottish Scott? Irish is, is 78% of my background, Scottish Irish. Guess I'm what? Scott Mine too. You wouldn't believe it though. Why? Uh, because usually Scottish I, Irish has what? Red hair and fair skin. Yeah, that. Dang old my black grandpa Irish. had red black hair. Irish. <laughs> there black is a Irish. term. It's called black Irish. You need to Google it. If you have, if you, if your, if your ancestry is pretty much Scottish Irish, and you have brown hair and brown eyes and dark skin or whatever, then that's considered Black Irish. Yeah. <laughs> it's on my mama's side. Okay. Yeah, we we understand. <laughs> we understand. You know, if you follow your if you follow your family tree back the way I have, and my and my grandmother and grandfathers, they all kept up with it. You'll find some interesting things happening in your family tree. Yeah. You think stepping out yeah. just just started the last twenty years? It didn't. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do let's do. Let me give you uh, a little lesson on least common multiple, greatest common factor, and then we'll do some more. Let me go back to the book. And pull the book up. Wait a minute, we only got 10 minute classes. What time is it? It's already time to go, isn't it? Almost. We got 13 minutes. Uh, and I got to quit early. Well, we'll go ahead. Turn it. I won't have to quit early because I got to go do Mr. King's. Do you go down? Let me go ahead and pull this up. I want you to read the following section. Wait a minute. Look at MLK. I had a dream. It's me. <laughs> little black girls. Little she black is. Uh, she's on drugs. Yeah. Who's on drugs? I'm sober as a lark. I'm not on drugs. I'm sober. Dare to resist drugs and alcohol. Wait, what is it? Dare? <laughs> You're high on life, aren't you? Huh? You high, You're high on, on life. life, aren't you? Sir, that's all I need. Yeah, I hear you. Heard of God, you are. I ain't like our generation. <laughs> I'm old soul. Oh, Thank God this Lord. Class, Please I don't say you're an old soul. Okay. I'm going to go 18. right here and right here. I want you to. No, that's not the one. I want to go to the grade book. No, the e text. E text 5.1. This is what I want you to do. I'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone. I want y'all to read this over the weekend. Okay, but I do not want you to try any homework yet on this because I want to show you how to do it the correct way, not with those dang trees, okay? okay. Do not yes, do sir. those trees <laughs> unless you want to be confused. I hate okay, so trees. five. That was and 5.1. You take this class way too far. <laughs> Uh, okay, Lord. here we go. The greatest common divisor. Well, I want to find the least common of multiple and the greatest. Here we go, right here. All right, 54 and 90. I want you to read page 210 and on. I want you to read 210, 211, 213, whatever. 212, 211, 210 and 211. And make, okay, 209 to 211. <laughs> There, 209 to 211. The reason I want you to read it is because we're going to go into this next, and I'm going to show you what we're going to go into. What time is class over? 1.15. i got 10 minutes, so I'm going to show you one thing. What's those two numbers? 54 and 90. Okay. Here is 54 and 90. They both go into 9. 54 and 90. And I'm going to use what we're learning. I'm going to use 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and sometimes 13. Okay, I'm going to divide by 2. That'll be 27 and 45. And then I'm going to divide by 3, and that'll give me a 9 and a what? 15. And then I'm going to, is everybody watching? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to divide by 3 again, and that's going to give me a 3. And a five. Now at this point, 
I'm going to draw a red line. And I'm going to put RMS out here. For the real math stops. Now, you're not going to see this in any book. This is a Hubertism. So, what I mean the real math stops? Because I can't divide into 3 and 5. Why? Because there's no number that will go into them both. You don't understand? No common factors. Yeah. Now, look at here. Circle this. And what is 2 times 9? 18. 18 is the biggest number. Write this down. The biggest number that will go into 54 and what? 9. Okay, so when you stop at this red line, whatever you have right here is going to be the biggest number that will go into 59 and 90. Now I'm going to continue with what we call magic math. Magic math, I'm going to use a green marker. Magic math is when you divide until you get to ones, but you do them separately. Watch what I do here. Three, we'll go into three one time, so I've got that's good. Will three go into five? No. Then I divide by five. Will five go into one? No. So you just bring that down. Will five go into five? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I got my ones. When I have my ones, what is 18 times 3 times 5? Well, let's do it this way. It's real simple. What's uh, nine, What's nine, uh, 27 18. times 5? And then you basically you multiply all of these numbers, and that number in green is going to be the smallest. Write this down. The smallest number that 54 and 90 will what? Will go yeah. into. And this in 5.3 is called the common what? Multiple. Common denominator. Denominator. When you're trying to find a common denominator of fractions, this is what you're going to be using. But what I want you to do, I want you to read pages. What did I tell you? 109, 209, 209, 209 through 11. 211. 209 through 211. I want you all to read that and work on the what we've been working on. Don't work on this. If it says, if it says greatest common factor and lowest common multiple on the homework, you stop. I don't want you working on that yet. I just want you to work on this. That will be your first five or six questions on your homework probably when you're doing math. Okay. Now, let me. It's